Hey, 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 welcome back to the Passive Inc. <laughs> oh my God, I got it wrong. Welcome back to, <laughs> to the Passive Buddies podcast. Um, today, we are covering the power of passive income and how to create multiple streams of income online. And who better to discuss it with than my favorite and only co-host, Brandon Duff. You okay, pal? I am doing amazing. How are you? Yeah, no, I am good, mate. Obviously, at the time of recording this, we've got an, an incredible announcement for our group in like less than half an hour. So all our students are getting an incredible affiliate contest, which actually is in an episode previous. So go ahead, listen to that and see if you want to join. But no, I'm excited for that, mate. That's like 25 minutes in counting. Yeah, it's the time is counting down. We definitely are going to go over the slide and all sorts of cool prizes people can win. But today we're talking about the power of passive income and how you can generate it online and create multiple streams. So Brian, how do you make passive income online? So what I want to do quickly, and we spoke about it in another podcast, so I'm only going to go over you. If you want to know about the passive income scale, go ahead and watch that episode because this bit's pretty crucial. So when it comes to a passive, passive income scale, it People see passive income as black and white. It's either you're working or you're not. When it's not entirely true, it's more like you work up front and then turn it passive. So it's more of like a, a scale rather than a, oh, shit, like I've got to do a bit of work. This must mean it's active. That's not entirely true. It's just when you compare it against your day job, like trading time for those tra- trading time for money in those hours, when it actually comes to, well, actually, I'm making a hell of a lot more per hour and doing a lot less hours, for instance, checking in with your property manager once a month. That's probably takes about an hour and you're making a hell of a lot. That would you class as passive income, but there's still a little bit of active elements. So right. now that we've covered that, guys, now we can start talking about passive income online because people will be like, that's not passive income because you've got to do a bit of work. And they'll probably wave their hands like this as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's a case of like, All opportunities online start with active work, but it's how you can turn it passive and move it through that process. Affiliate marketing is obviously one great way of doing it because you start off with active work and through growing your brand and your audience and your list, you can make recurring income and passive income all the way through that journey. The best way I'd probably suggest is is through YouTube because once you peak, put that content together it's always there isn't it like people can go and find videos and watch videos that were posted five years back buy something from that video so what you're doing is creating content that lasts a lifetime that can get you signed or get people signed up to certain affiliate links and certain things i actually had a message the other day i have not done a right sonic video in ages um i it's still some of my best performing videos but Someone actually put a comment the other day, which I need to actually speak to my tech guy. Oh, mate, wanted to sign up, but your right Sonic bonus link was broken. I was like, fuck. Um, so I need to get that fixed. But that's months ago. And this guy wants to sign up through my link, get my bonuses, and join Right Sonic, which is a recurring income product, just because of that power, power of YouTube. Now, that definitely is ways and means of building passive income online. And I think that's obviously a core concept to it. What about yourself? I think that's a great uh, way to start also is YouTube. Um, It allows, and we talked about multiple streams and you talked about multiple streams within YouTube and I'll I'll kind of break that down. So you can essentially do a YouTube video and get ad revenue when you're, once you're monetized and that allows you to get a portion of the ad revenue that I spent from companies online that have a marketing budget that are paying YouTube to put their ads within uh, people's videos. Like if it's the beginning of the video, mid roll, or at the end of the video, any kind of uh, video that is spliced in there, we get a percentage of the ad cost. And that allows us to create content and reinvest it into our platform. That's why uh, Mr. Beast and all these big influencers make hundreds of thousands of dollars a day and ad revenue because their ads are being shown to millions of people. But then Brian, for instance, he has his video that he posted on YouTube, ad revenue is coming in, but he also has an affiliate link down there. And that affiliate link on Rightsonic allows him to, when people sign up, get recurring income through his affiliate link. And so not only is he getting ad revenue from the 
Facebook or YouTube, he's also getting affiliate commissions from a company who he did a review on essentially, or how to use the product or whatever for his business. And so this allows him to make multiple streams by just posting one video. And as obviously Brandon said, like you've got ad ad revenue, you've got your affiliate commissions, you've then got like on top of that, it can be branding. So people can pay you for sponsorship deals or people can pay you to put a shout out in the middle of your video, right? Or same in podcast, like, hey, like we'd love you if you're talking about an episode on this, we'd love to have an advertising slot inside your video where you're talking about it. So with YouTube, like it becomes multiple income streams in itself. So as just a roundup, ad revenue, paid sponsorship deals, affiliate links, like all of these different things. Plus you're building up your own email list as well and your own audience, which means you can then sell multiple things on the back end through email lists, which we covered heavily in the last episode. So go ahead and check that out, like and subscribe. So we know that you love our content and you want to hear more of it. But just by taking a platform in itself like YouTube, we've already looked at how you can create multiple income streams from one platform. If you then go ahead and take it across to Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, because of creator funds on all of those platforms now, you can literally do it across all platforms. So repurposing those videos and creating those audiences on those platforms gets you a wider variety, gets you a bigger email list, and then you can create multiple income streams from recurring products. Just like yeah. crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's the best way to do it. And we've talked about, there's a lot of content. Subscribe to the channel so you can see how we uh, are able to create massive amounts of content in a very short time. I think one of the podcasts that we did was how to become a content god um, or goddess. So definitely check out that podcast on how we actually create multiple, I guess, pieces of content using the same content on one platform and repurposing it to other platforms without spending too much extra time um then not only that but then you're getting like you said a bigger audience you're getting more views you're building more brand recognition and that allows you to create more offers for people that want what you have <laughs> right guys that's the episode done <laughs> yeah i mean but, but it basically it sounds like we don't want to overcomplicate it, but it sounds so simple like decide where you want to build an audience collect build that audience there i always prefer youtube but it's the perfect platform because of the evergreen style of content creation that can be found for years and years and years so you create that co content piece once Obviously, you've got to build your channel. You can't just create one piece of content. But building that piece, those pieces of content, and then from there, you can be collecting multiple different streams of income. You've got faceless channels. At, like You've got personal brand channels. I always say do a personal brand channel first, get that yeah. working, get that pumping, and then use some of the ad revenue and some of the additional costs to then go outsource the development of faceless channels because there's tons of faceless channels you can do like you've got like highlight reels from sports um that you could do you could do meditation music and focus music you could do software reviews where you're not showing your face there's so many different things you can do but focus on your personal brand channel because that one will carry more weight and more income streams because you can get paid for guest appearances and everything once you've got that personal brand and then from there it can spiral into the other things Okay, so but as we say, it's getting that brand, getting that content out there, building that brand, building that email list, and the multiple streams will flow. Yeah, and I mean, just to reiterate or to finalize this, you look at Mr. Beast, uh, and we talked about him, uh, I think, previously on another podcast, not with him, but about him. But uh, like Mr. Beast, he was just offered, I think, a billion dollars for his brand, and it just shows you that even personal brands. Um, maybe not his name, like he doesn't go by his name, but he goes by Mr. Beast. People will buy brands and and give you a great deal of money for a established brand. So that's a great way to exit too. If you built up a, a brand that's very recognized, people will buy your brand and then you can exit from the, the business and reinvest that money into other passive income streams. So it's just it, it does definitely matter or it's very important to build a personal brand too.
hundred uh, percent, guys. So it it wasn't a, a magic door. It wasn't a magic treasure box that we've just unlocked. It's reiterating the exact same stuff, like building that personal brand and leveraging these content platforms to then utilize into multiple passive income streams is definitely a great way to do it. And don't be scared of getting started. Now, if you want to learn how to do that, if you're a complete beginner or you want to learn how to build cash flow, I would definitely recommend the cash flow challenge in the first link below. Come and join us. Come and build, join this awesome community that are all about building passive income online and the marketing strategies are behind that. And I will see you and Brandon will see you in the next episode. Peace.